to Didsby Art Studio. I'm Sally. If you haven't met me before, welcome back to those of you that are subscribers, but to new subscribers, thank you so much for following me. All right then, so today we're going to kick off with a textile technique which I absolutely love. Okay, it's really straightforward, it's not going to take us too long, probably not anyway. Um, and I've been to a charity shop, I've got my fabrics, I've cut up the clothes that I got there and we're going to use those to kind of inform our sample that we're going to do. What you're going to need is a 30 centimeter square of fabric, kind of double sided, and you're going to need some scrap bits of fabrics, it can be any colours. I'm sticking with my chocolate theme, so um, I'm, I've got loads of kind of browny, beigey, silky, chocolatey kind of colours that I'm going to use. And shall we get into it? Let's do it. So, as you can see, is the chocolate fabric that I'm going to use as a base. So when you fold it in half, it's 30 by 30. And I've organised my fabrics into um, different piles of each fabric. So I've got quite a few different sort of selected colours there, which are going to make it a little bit easier for me to do the piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of make a fold like so with your fabric, open it up and I'm going to use a little bit of fabric over here where the fold was so that I know how far to go with all my fabrics. Just grab your fabrics and start organising them on your main fabric. So, I'll use that one. Um, I'm going to just fill these in, these little shapes. So they can go in any direction you want. I'll pop that in there. And yeah, you can you can do this um, quite easily in schools and you can just do it for fun if you want to at home as well. So that's kind of like one layer and if you find it too big it kind of overhangs, just cut that off. So what you just want to do is make sure that your fabric is pretty evenly spaced out so I'm just really making sure that I'm using various different types and colours in here so they're really pretty randomly placed. So you can see I've been going like this through that time lapse and I'm really just checking how thick it's getting because you just need to watch out for when you're on the sewing machine that you haven't done it too thick. I'm going to fold the larger dark brown coloured fabric down nice and flat. I've used my scissors to just chop off the edges up to the brown fabric. And now I'm going to just put some clips just around the side before I start sewing. Remember these little chocolate drawings I did? I'm actually going to do this one here, this design, there. And I'm going to draw that out onto my main fabric.
Okay, so that's it, sewn and done and ready. Okay, so next we are going to, by the way, if you want to give it an iron at this stage, you can do, I'm happy enough because I ironed it earlier. I've got several different pairs of scissors that I could potentially use here. That's one of my quick unpicks, which you can also rip fabric with. And those are my clippers that I use when I'm on the sewing machine. And those are my fabric scissors, so we can use a few. So what I'm going to do to begin with is, hopefully you can see that, is I'm just going to snip through my top layer. Like so. you can see here when you pull it back on the fabric the layers start kind of if you miss a bit you can just cut some more off um so yeah when you pull the fabric back can you see that you can see all the layers starting to show through which is really really lovely I can't wait to see this finished so yeah so you just continue to keep quitting the layers out and then I am going to pop this into the washing machine to get a bit more of the fray showing through so you can see the fabric is starting to fray there. this video today on fabric slashing and if you did do give us a like and um, if you haven't subscribed before and you like my videos and want to see more then please do so and hit the notification button um, until I see you next time uh, uh, look after yourselves have a good week and I'll see you soon bye